Hi, good evening everyone. I'm now inside the Century Oriental Plaza and with my friend Hi, Nick. Nick. Today I'm going to give you a brief review of the three Hong Kong prepaid e-roaming SIM card. Um, this SIM card is issued by three Hong Kong I, one of the four major mobile phone carriers in Hong Kong. This is an e-SIM card, so it means that you won't see a virtual SIM card and you don't need to purchase online or to purchase somewhere else to get it delivered to your house. You can just purchase it on its website, on 3 Hong Kong's website. It, it, um, as for the SIM card, it can only be used on the latest version of the iPhone. For example, the iPhone XR and there's iPhone X XS oh, and XS Max. Okay, all right. Uh, well, <coughs> you can only use this eSIMs on the on the latest version of the iPhone, where it's uh, eSIM enabled. As for the SIM card, it costs you 138 Hong Kong dollars. As for as of today's exchange rate, it's around 120 RMB, around 24.5 Australian dollars, and it's valid for 10 days. You get, uh, for each day, you get 500 megabyte of 4G roaming, roaming data, and then the free fair use policy usage kicks in, and then your speed will be reduced to 128 kbps per second it's just the speed of uh, 2g error it's just only a it just sufficient for for you to use those messaging apps and this roam, roaming e -SIM is issued by three hong kong so the you you are subject to the hong kong's um laws and regulations so which means that you don't need to provide your ID to purchase this prepaid SIM card just to purchase online no fuzzy things just purchases and scan and this roaming eSIM card can be used to, to 20 destinations for example mainland China, Macau, Taiwan Japan, South Korea, Singapore, Malaysia, and many other places. Um, well, with this e-roaming e prepaid SIM card, you can get unrestricted internet, as you do always in back in Australia, in mainland China, where normally the internet is heavily restricted and censored. So you, you might be curious, why you are able to get unrestricted internet with this roaming SIM card? Well, generally speaking, for the roaming SIM card, your internet usage will not go directly go through the censored internet back in mainland China. Your internet traffic will go through a encrypted um, tunnel and uh, goes back to the places where your SIM card is issued. In this case, you all your internet traffic goes back to Hong Kong and in Hong Kong you won't subject to the rigorous internet censorship and restrictions. And let's see Google, no problem. Facebook. Oh it's opened. And YouTube, not a pro problem. Okay, as you can see here, um, I use this website ipx.ic to test the <coughs> IP address and the carry information. As you can see um, it's Hong Kong, it, um, the IP address is in Hong Kong and 
and you are is uh, you are using the Hutchinson Telephone Company Limited. It's uh, it's this uh, it's the parent company of the Three Hong Kong. It's a very big company actually. Yeah, it's, uh, basically popular worldwide. It's it's quite popular. You can, it also has many subsidiaries in Europe. For example, three Hong, three UK. Uh, three UK. And let's use speed test. It has been recently updated, so basically it can identify whether you are using a VPN yeah. or not. Or use the original internet connection. Okay, here we go. Well, look at the <laughs> ping, how high it is. It's uh, 96 and oh. speed is not ideal. <laughs> well, it's 4G network. Oh, it says LTE in here. Yeah, that's really yeah. a disaster. 2 Mbps per second? Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ, uh, that's just the uh, okay. speed of the 3G connection. And it's 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 the connection the speed of the three G at at its initial stage many years ago. Look at the speed two point two nine mega Mbps per second. Are you, are you serious? Yeah. And I look know. at the jitter. And it it also demonstrates the network quality. Yeah. Two point two. Uh, Wait a second. That is about um, two hundred milliseconds. Which is about two seconds. Two seconds. That's what a disaster. Extremely not stable. But yeah. and I have add, add, add something because if you look here, it is carried through the China mobile, mobile network. network. In China. And China. You test the real. Your domestic, uh, highly restricted domestic network. network. Work. You'll find the network speed here. Is it's way much better. Thirty megabits per second. Yeah. Three MB per second. And compared to this, they are in the same network. We have very distinct. We we are now at the same place, identical, just the same place here. But look at the differences here. That's huge. So uh, it's basically the problem of three HK, not China China mobile. mobile. Yes. Yeah. And one more thing to mention. China Mobile uses um, TDLT, which is a bit different from the widely used uh, FDDLT networks uh, in Australia and in many other countries. But um, for those kind of old mobile phones, perhaps your phone is not cap uh, compatible for using the TDLT network, but for the a more recent version of the iPhone from iPhone 6s onward, the iPhone you purchased back in Australia can use the TDLT in mainland China without any problems. So, um, basically that's it. For more roaming scene review in mainland China, please stay tuned. I will bring more review later on. Bye.